All right, this video, I'm going to talk about the RAV Power all-in-one file up. It's a wireless router. Uh, it is a battery pack. Most importantly, it is a DLNA server. So I'm going to show you how we set that up uh, and how this thing has saved me on two 20-hour trips to Florida and a trip out of the country to Mexico with uh, two or three small children each time. So this is the package it comes in and this is the device itself. I mean, it fits in the palm of your hand. Truly, it's really not a big deal. So uh, it's got a number of features. It is a file hub and that's why I'm, I'm doing this video, really. But it is a battery pack. Four lights shows you that it is ready to charge whatever you need to have charged. But down here on the side, just quickly, that's not going to focus, but that's the end. That's how you charge it. Uh, I can't get my fingernail underneath that, but you're going to see that. That is your WAN and your output. You got an Ethernet jack and a USB jack in there. Not that I've ever used any one of them. And this is kind of the business side. And that is in, uh, that's an SD card. Uh, SD card adapter with a micro SD in it. So, show you what we got here. Fingernail, there we go. All right, it's nice because it's tiny, it doesn't stick out. Last one I built was with Raspberry Pi, uh, where I had to build the whole thing myself. It was clunky and there's always the risk of it getting hit in the car with the kids. So, um, this one, just a little SD card, even a micro SD that slips into it. Uh, if you see that, it's 128 gigs. Um, I have run this thing, this one thing on one charge, for a flight down to Mexico, a few hours, not a few hours, probably one hour and a half a day, for a week and then the flight back up from Mexico to Ohio on one charge on this thing and 128 gigs worth of movies and uh, shows and we did not have an issue not one bit it was wonderful actually um, and uh, we streamed multiple iPads we've had three or four iPads at a time on this thing streaming seamlessly without any lag maybe a little lag but nothing considerable uh, if an eight-year-old's not getting upset about it, I'm not getting upset about it. So there you go. So we're going to take our SD card and uh, we're going to format this thing for you. So I've got a 16 gig class 10. I've got another video where I took this sucker and I had previously run it through my Raspberry Pi. I removed the formatting, switched it to MTFS, uh, removed any partitions and uh, got the thing ready to go. So, let's see here. Oh, and to buy this thing, it's really not a big deal. 40 bucks on Amazon. Um, 40 bucks to not hear kids crying for 20 hours in a car. Uh, <laughs> it's just well worth it. I don't know how else to explain, explain that one. So, I took the card, formatted it to NTFS. We're gonna take it right out of our adapter file up, insert the card in the correct end, alright now you press it once, there's your four lights, that's what you have to charge a phone or an iPad with, but you hold it down, it is going to creep up to that, it's going to blink green, it's going to blink blue, it is going to format the card, check the file system, see if there's any videos on it, uh, see if there's any audio on it, any pictures, create a file system for you there to work with. Now RAV Power has their own app. Uh, they've got an app that works with this. I just happen not to use it. So I'm showing you what I do. So there we go. Blinks, works, now we got something to work with. So let's shut it back down. And we're off. Let's get that card out of there. Now, here's where the magic happens. 
because this thing is so useful. We're going to pop it into our adapter. Insert it into the computer. Check our file system here. This PC. There we go. Alright, so it opened it up for me. Now, I would switch over to my screen recorder right now, but this is really just so incredibly simple. So I had an NTFS formatted card, popped it into the Rav Power, um, it formatted it, and it created these two folders, uh, .vst and a, dot sh and, and a share file. So I've got a video I took with my iPhone. It's actually decent quality. Uh, my kid is into Thomas trains at the time, so uh, we made a video with Thomas the train. You can do this with uh, any video file. I've done it with MP4s. If you can't convert it to MP MP4, it's not that great of a video anyway. Um, done it with MKVs. Uh, any legally obtained video file you can think of works perfectly well here. So, all right, so I took that video. I dropped it into the share folder. The mouse here. So we're in the share folder in Drive F. Like I said, there's the two folders. In that share, we have the video I just dropped in. And uh, it's about a 700 megabyte video. Uh, it's only nine minutes long, so we're not talking bad quality here. This isn't a 320 by 240. I mean, this is this is decent video to work with. So. Um, Let's just go ahead and eject one of the discs. Hopefully it's one we're looking for. Pull it out. So I moved a video file over to it. Obviously if you're working with a lot of videos it takes longer. But pop it in there. Alright now we need to create our DLNA server. It takes a lot of work. There it goes. <clears throat> All right, almost done. It's gonna blink a little bit, check the file system, and uh, we're gonna be in business. Uh, and it's gonna create our little file hub for us. Now, like I said, it has its own app. Um, but being a big fan of VLC myself, that's what I use. So, Alright, now it's up and running. Now you don't need to touch it. I'll just let that thing go. I dropped it in my bag uh, in the airport. Um, Use this thing on the flight. And nobody seemed to care. Alright, I think I got you framed up now. Here's the important part. Once you have your router running, looks nice and solid blue, and you just log in to your Wi-Fi just like you would anything else. So I'm going to go off my home Wi-Fi. I'm going to pick up the file hub. Now the app is nice. It lets you set up all this. It uh, You just follow the instructions. Incredibly simple. Set up whatever your um, just set up whatever your local network's going to be and what your password is, which is good because you don't want everybody on the airplane using your <laughs> file streaming service. You set it up, logged in, and just tick over to VLC. Now, if you get to VLC, the first screen you're going to get to, I already opened this once unfortunately, and you're going to come here. Now, mine has <laughs> a number of media servers, but if we go to this one, this is our DLNA, we go to video, we go to all video, and you see Thomas Race 1. Alright, so this is the one that uh, I created with my son uh, of his Thomas Trains Racing. And just to show you just the lag time on this, really. So I click this, I click full screen. and we're rolling. So this is a video 
on my phone of my iPad of my iPad rolling. So it's really not any lag. Like if I just skip ahead, let's skip ahead in the video. And there's no lag time. There's no buffering. It's like the video is on the iPad itself. Let's get this back in the frame here. We'll skip that a little bit more. We're racing trains that day. So there we go. You skip ahead, you move this cursor just to where you want it, and you get what uh, <laughs> you get what you expect out of something that's saved to the iPad itself. So in that sense, it is a uh, it's a great little tool to play video. We've done this with videos, we've done this with blockbuster movies, we have not had a single problem. So, there you go. I hope that helps you. I uh, hope that helps you keep your sanity. And, uh, <laughs> best of luck to you if you're going on a long trip, long trip with small kids.